Hey guys, so it has been a minute since I've said hi to you guys from this background. Um, last night I went out to the Halloween parade and it was insane. It was insane. I loved it. It's so much fun. So before you hear these tips on how to survive it, just know that it is a thousand percent worth it. Absolutely, I recommend. Go for it. If you haven't seen it, go see it. So with that being said, here's some tips on how to survive. Tip number one, before you go to the parade, know the layout, know where the parade is going to go because I ended up thinking I was like mad early, went to 16th and I was like, yo, nobody's here, suckas, I'm going to get a really good seat, this is bomb. And as it started getting closer to 7, I was like, why is nobody else over here? So I go up to a police officer and I'm like, hi um i'm just making sure that the parade goes through here and he's like actually it doesn't this is where everybody ends like the parade ends here and like you're not gonna see any costumes or anything so what you're saying is i'm not early i'm late now so he was like yeah just walk a couple blocks down that way that you'll find it so i was like okay cool whatever so i walked down there i was still able to get somewhat towards the front but i'm five foot five which brings me to tip number two be tall I don't know how you're gonna do that but be tall because my five foot five self could not see over anybody it was like a bunch of mountains and I'm down here I was just kind of like but that was only at the beginning because later the NYPD has you move the barricades forward and then you got to be careful not to get trampled because everybody just like pushes everybody nobody cares everybody just pushes forward and then people got tired of waiting so before the parade even started they left, so I would like, you know, squeeze my way up a little bit, squeeze my way up a little bit. Which brings me to tip number three. Get you some strong legs and a lot of patience because you're really going to need it. Which brings me to tip number four. Because your legs are probably going to be sore from standing for over two hours waiting for the parade to come, you might want to take some leave before you leave so that afterwards your legs aren't hurting your knees aren't weak your knees aren't giving out on you so that you can have some knees left over for your twerk because the parties after halloween are lit so make sure you get you some a leave before you leave the house so you don't have problems with your twerk later on anyways those are some tips to survive check out halloween parade in new york city 2018 go okay so i did a really fast robot look we are headed to the halloween parade in New York City. It's really cute. Everybody's dressed up. Let's see how it goes.
you guys really enjoyed that vlog. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, except for today, because yesterday was Halloween and I wanted to make a Halloween video today. But anyways, catch you next time for some more shenanigans. Until then, remember to always keep adding color to your canvas. Be brave, be kind, y viva la vida. Bye!